This question is about standing waves on a string. Pause the recording and read through the question carefully. So we're told that the wire is 37 centimetres long, clamped at both ends, and the wave speed along the wire is 325.6 metres per second. The first thing we're asked to find is a standing wave with the longest wavelength that can exist on the wire. If we start by drawing our wire, that's the wire. Now you can have any number of um, standing waves that would fit on this wire. So as long as there's a node at the end, you could have a wave like that. Uh, on an identical wire, you could have a wave, say, like that. But we're asked to find the wave with the longest wavelength. So the longest possible wavelength would be if you have a node at either end where the wire is fixed, and in the middle, an anti-node where you have maximum displacement. So it is this situation here that would give us the longest possible wavelength that will fit on the string where wavelength has the symbol lambda. So the next thing we have to consider is what is the wavelength of this standing wave? The wavelength is a measure of the complete length of the wave, the length of a whole wave. So that's measured from, um, say, um, a point at rest to a peak, to, through another point of rest, to a peak in the negative direction, back to a point of rest. So for this wave that we've got here, the wavelength would actually be this whole distance there. So the length of the string that we have here, which was 37 centimetres, will be equal to half a wavelength, so lambda over 2. So the answer to the longest wavelength that can exist on the string, lambda, it will be 2 times 37 centimetres, which is 74 centimetres, or 0 0.74 metres. That's our answer to part A of the question. Part B asks, what is the lowest standing wave frequency that's possible? And to calculate the frequency, we can use the expression V equals F lambda. So the wave speed is the frequency times the wavelength. So the lowest standing wave frequency will correspond to the longest wavelength. So we've already calculated the longest wavelength. So the frequency is the wave speed divided by the wavelength which is 325.6 divided by 0 0.74. And typing that into the calculator gives the answer 440, and the unit of frequency is hertz, where one hertz is one vibration per second. And those of you who are music maestros might recognise that. Um, 440 hertz is actually the frequency of the A above middle C, so that's what most instruments in an orchestra will tune to.